Hi, Steve here. I wanted to show you uh, two very unique ways of making a mask uh, to use if you're going to go out into public. However, I don't recommend that you go out into public. The masks um, do work. Uh, they've always known that they've worked. Uh, it's just that people were hoarding them and um, it was giving people a false sense that everything was okay. So people were, you know, taking these medical masks and buying them off of uh, Amazon. And somehow um, people get the idea that just by doing this is gonna protect them. Touching your eyes, that's a major mode of infection from a virus. Let me first say that uh, my degrees are in biology. I am not a doctor. This is not providing you medical advice. Aside from staying inside in a sterile environment or wearing an N95 mask, you can get the virus. These are some ways though, since they're recommending now that we wear masks, that you can make one and not necessarily have to purchase one. Some of these things are already um, out there. They're already recorded, they're on YouTube, they're in social media. You can scrub forward please do to get to the Swiffer method or, uh, and also the vacuum cleaner uh, method of, of doing these masks. These are the ones that are online now on Amazon and they're already being sold out. This is a cloth mask that's uh, simply washable. You can reuse it again. And then there are step-by-step -step instructions that are out there if you can sew. I can't sew. This one is on CNN and it includes a needle and thread. I don't have a needle and thread. Again, I don't sew. So what do you do if you can't sew? Well, I'm gonna show you. Let me put this away. If you don't have a ruler, some don't have a ruler or a meter stick. Get some string, that'll help you measure how much of whatever you're making the mask out of that you'll need. Let me talk real quickly about your eyes. Wearing a mask does not stop you from touching your eyes. So while not everybody can get one of these, these are from my lab at school, these are our safety glasses. You can wear sunglasses, that's fine. That'll keep you from touching your eyes. You can get reading glasses get a really, really low um, magnification, like a one, put that on and it'll prevent you from touching your eyes. It's gonna look a little weird, obviously, if you don't have a, an issue with reading, but who cares? It'll get you through wherever you need to go. Protect your eyes. The mask does not protect your eyes. All right, let me get rid of those. Now they're recommending cotton as a, a, a way of, of making these um, masks or a material to make these masks. So you can go around your house and find anything. This is a t-shirt and I made a mask using good old, good old fashioned uh, duct tape. And I just poked some holes through it. I used, uh, you can use a steak knife, you can use a scissor, you can use a paper clip and you can attach any sort of string to it that you have. If you don't have string, I have another alternative that actually works better, a rubber band, because you won't have to adjust it so much and it fits nicely around your ear. A rubber band will be fine. Other alternatives for this, anything that you can find. Bandanas, again, not everybody has a bandana. You can use underwear or a sock. I would use two or three, uh, at least two or three different uh, layers of cotton. Gloves, wool hats. Don't use something that has a, a, a light um, or a very, very loose weave to it because you don't want to have too much air flowing through. Cooling towels from the kitchen. Kitchen towels, dishcloths from the bathroom. Bath towels. All will work fine if you want to make it out of cloth. That's perfect. But I do want to give you an alternative uh, to making it out of cloth 
that will be a little bit easier to clean because when you wear these, when you come home, you've got to either wash it, spray it down with Lysol, disinfectant. This isn't gonna help you very much. You can soak it in a solution of bleach water, uh, 32 to one is what we use at a dog shelter to uh, kill viruses, soaking it for at least 10 minutes. Again, soaking it when it's made out of duct tape, yeah, I think you'll be able to get some uses out of it. I think you could spray this down um, and get it nice and wet with Lysol and reuse it again. We're at a time now where we need to start thinking outside of the box, okay? So if you can't make a cloth mask, I would like to show you uh, two unique methods. One is already out there, which I think is fantastic. Uh, I made it last week. It's made out of a vacuum cleaner bag. I also made one out of a Swiffer wet jet. Okay, I'm gonna show you how to make them out of these. All right, let's get rolling with these two alternative methods of, of making a mask. When it comes to, um, you know, getting it to go around your ear, all right? A lot of people don't have string. Uh, I grabbed this from the garden um, shed. This is jute. You can use shoelaces. If you don't have shoelaces, yank this off of a sweatshirt. You can use even this. Uh, this is just a USB wire. We all have 10,000 of them now hanging around. You can take the elastic off of a uh, sweatpants and you can actually make a band that'll go around your head that'll hold it on there. Um, or if you have a headband, an elastic headband that you use, you can use that as well. All right, let me get to it. This is a replacement bag for a Bissell uh, vacuum cleaner. Any vacuum cleaner that has a bag will be fine. A lot of these are made to reduce uh, the release of allergens. Um, so their filtration is a little bit better than, uh, than the cotton in a cloth mask. So what you need to do is you need to cut it. And I would probably cut it in the shape of a, of a regular mask that you can buy online, not a medical mask. This thing should be, I would make it a lot bigger than this. They're recommending um, nine inches wide, six inches um, tall. Um, this one that I made is 12 inches wide, six inches, and an inch and three quarters. Play around with it. None of our faces are the same size. None of our heads are the same size. I used jute, and all I did was poke holes into it. Okay, I wanted to get just a little bit closer, and show you how this thing works. Now, I attached a rubber band on both sides, okay? I just stapled it. You can use the, uh, the duct tape. It doesn't really matter. Um, so around the ear, around the other ear. Sorry about that. And there you go. Now, there is a problem. You got space right here, okay? It's not hugging your nose. So there's a solution to that. You take a paper clip, okay, just like that, and you unfold it like that. Take a piece of duct tape, and you're going to put the paper clip right onto the sticky side like that. And then you are going to put it at the top of the mask. So that is what's going to conform to the shape of your nose. All right, one more time, see if I can get it over my little ears. Oh, uh, yeah, that was much better that time. And then take it and get it to the shape of your nose. Now, that's much, much better because it doesn't have a whole lot of space here. 
yeah, you don't look great, but you know what? These are crazy times, so don't worry about it. If you don't want to shred a shirt or, you know, some folks don't have clothing that they could shred up. This, uh, this works. This does a trick. Now, the other method um, I actually discovered when I was cleaning the floor um, with one of these little Swiffers. Uh, it shoots out, you know, cleaning solution and you put a pad at the bottom of it and you move it around and clean things up. When I saw the pad, I thought this would make a great idea for a mask. And it's the same sort of principle. Um, but the nice thing about the Swiffer pad and its replacements, and there are some generic ones, is it's plastic coated. So after you're done using it, you can use your Clorox wipes. You could use your Lysol. You could wipe it down and it doesn't get saturated. Okay. Now I probably even with the other one, would spray both the front and the back with Lysol. Now, you know that with uh, cardboard or paper, uh, the virus will only hang around for maybe 24 hours. So I would spray it down and let this go for 24 hours before I would use it again. Now, on plastic, it's a little bit different. It does hang around a little bit longer and on cloth a little bit longer. So this one you may have to, um, you know, clean this part really, really well, spray this part really, really well, but I probably would wait a couple days, maybe three days until you wore it. Wear it. Okay, so you cut it the same way as you did with the vacuum cleaner bag. I attached a rubber band on either side, and again, you're gonna fit it, but you're gonna have the same problem, a space here. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna take the duct tape and the paper clip just like that and I'm going to put it at the top of the mask. Now the nice thing about the, the pads is that they, they're a little more, you could work with them a little bit. Um, the paper from the vacuum cleaner bags are a little, you know, stiff but if you, if you work the paper a little bit and kind of roll it around um, it'll soften up. But I, I like, um, you know, I like the cloth the best but this is this works fine, and I'm sorry, God gave me little ears. So there you go, and again, push it against your nose, and you've got a really, really nice, well-fitting mask. Not 100%, but it works well. And again, when you get home, regardless of what type of mask you're carrying, you don't want to touch the front, so you want to get it down, you want to wipe it off, you want to spray it, and then just let it go and dry. Flip it over, do the same thing, clean that surface, make sure you clean your hands in between with soap and water or uh, hand sanitizer. Now, I did uh, retrofit the cloth one that I showed you in the very beginning, uh, added to, uh, you know, two rubber bands on either side and I did put a nose bridge in as well. This is my perp, this is my favorite. I, I mean, it's, it's a little more comfortable, but you know, this is all about giving people options of what to do. Um, and again, push it down on your nose. So you don't look as foolish, <laughs> but you know, it works. For you to get out, get your groceries and get home, this is going to give you um, a lot more protection than if you were just not wearing it at all. So there you go. There's the three different types of masks, uh, fabric and vacuum cleaner bag and the Swiffer. Now, Swiffer also makes a dry uh, replacement for just dry mopping. You can use this as extra filter um, in a fabric mask or you can use it with any of the other masks as well. If you want to beef it up a little bit and add some more filtration, knock yourself out. It'll work fine. Um, if you want to use a paper towel to add a little more filtration, knock yourself out. That'll be fine. There you go. I do want to end by giving a shout out to all of our healthcare professionals nurses, doctors, aides, the folks that clean the rooms, all of the people who are delivering our mail, our packages, uh, anybody who works in a grocery store, I'm probably forgetting uh, someone.